So the next step that we're going to do in the next test is our continuity test. So if we look down at our test sheets um, and we have a look and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a look for our shower circuit and we're going to do a continuity of R1, R2. We've already discussed when we're filling out the form that we're going to look at doing our R1, R2 values. So we're going to go to our shower and we're going to have a look at our shower circuit. So our, our shower circuit here uh, is this one here on the 20 amp breaker. So what we'll do is we'll do our R1, R2. So if I just unscrew that, R1, and then we go through, so our second circuit, which is nicely labelled up, number two, quite clearly. And, we, and luckily on this one, we do have a little bit of slack, which is quite nice. So we've got our R1 and our R2. And what we do is we put that into a connector block. So what we're doing is join it together. Um, you can see in some of the videos and some of the other tutorials, people will put them a link into the block and everything. Well, I just like to put into a separate connector block. Um, you can see it's there and then when we finish we just take it out and so it's always have, I mean I have got Wagos and I've done another video where we've used Wagos and we just looked at that. So all I'm simply doing here. Now the reason we're doing this at the distribution board and as we said we've looked at this in different videos, we're doing it here so then when we go to the end of our shower circuit we can do the test there. So. So we're just going to go to the end of our circuit and we're going to have a look. So I've connected it in here together and that's our R1, R2. So what we're going to do now I'm just getting my camera in the right place and we'll just have a quick look over there. So we're going to have a look at our R1, R2 value. So what we've got is our shower circuit. So this is the end of our shower circuit here. So we're going to get our tester. Once again, we're going to get our tester. Um, we're going to put the tips on our tester and we're going to connect the tester together. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that we null our leads. So hopefully we can see that. And we're just going to null our leads again to make sure. So we're just going to press the test button. And we can see with quite a bit of force there that we've got zeros. Okay, so we've null our leads there. So we've got our tester here. And now I'm just going to do a quick video with the other camera at the same time. And what we're just going to have a quick look at is in here, we're going to look inside here. And we're going to see, put the test probes onto the system, um, onto the, and we're going to get our reading. And we will do this. I've started with the shower circuit because it's our next circuit. So our next circuit along is the shower circuit. So that's why we're doing that. But also because it is quite simple, quite easy. So we look at our, incoming supply and we do our R1 and we do our R2. So we've done making sure we've got that connection on there quite nice and tight. Trying to do this one handed for demonstration purposes. It's probably not the easiest but I've got that on there. So and as we can see we've actually got a reading of zero zero zero. Now the reading that we've got here, the reason why it is so low, just going to triple check my test meter and make sure that I haven't nulled it. So we're just going to do that again and we just triple check this. So this one, so we're going to put that on the live and the neutral. Let's try and do that one handed. So we've got that on the live and the neutral. And I've squeezed down quite hard. Just trying to get that on that connector there. And I'll have to edit this a little bit afterwards. So we've got 0 0.01. So we've got 0 0.01.
Now that is quite a low reading, which is fine because the low reading is because it's such a short run and we've got such a big cable. So when we've looked at resistance and when we've looked at um, So when we've looked at doing the resistances and when we've looked at doing, um, put it back over here. It's, it's, it's a short run of cable. It's quite a large cable. And that would obviously give us that reading. So 0 0.1. And then what I'll just do here what we've got here. So on our test sheet, under shower, R1, R2, and we're going to put 0 0.01. Zero. And then we would do the same tests for our lighting circuits. So we would do exactly the same test. We would go through it. And if I've got time, I will go through the lighting circuits as well. So we'll go through. What we do is we record at all the points of the lighting circuit to make sure that we have got our earth and we have got, and we record the highest reading. Now, it's not always the furthest point, but normally because of resistance, as we've discussed, the further we are away from the distribution board, that would normally be our highest reading. But we record the highest reading. So we record the highest reading. Um, 